guys, how's it going? Tears back again with another episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1. We're into episode number 2, and I have to say a massive thank you to you guys straight off the bat for the immense response you gave the first episode. Over 50 likes, over 50 comments as well. Tremendous amount of response in there, loads of suggestions for this second episode. But we're actually going to start this one with Liverpool. They were the most popular uh, most popular suggestion in the comments, coming from Jack Bascom, Lewis Lackey and Joe Lemons. And uh, we're actually going to go into this one against Borussia Dortmund, a decent side. And it's going to take the lead, actually, half an hour in. I had been pretty dominant towards the early stages of the first half, but he caught me on the counter-attack. Can't cope with the pace of Aubameyang cutting it inside to him. Not going to catch him, and he goes 1-0 up 32 minutes in. But we are, going to, we are going to get ourselves back on level terms. The ball is going to get played down the outside by Glenn Johnson towards Raheem Sterling, he's so fast. Max Hummels just cannot cope. Luis Suarez gambles at the front post, gets the turn and the shot in. We are back at 1-1 just before half time in the 40th minute. So we're going at half time at 1-1, and you'll be able to see from the stats we didn't have too many chances, but we did have a lot of the ball. So for the second half, it was going to be a case of making sure that we used it more effectively, created more chances, and put the game to bed. As you can see, 60% possession in the first half. So we're pushing into the second half now. Raheem Sterling is going to play the ball through to Luis Suarez. He's going to do the work on the right-hand side. Shows great feet with the Ronaldo top. Turns around two defenders. Whips the ball in. Coutinho goes for the spectacular first-time volley. And unfortunately, he gets blocked. It would have been a glorious goal had that flown into the top right-hand corner or whatever from that uh, from that volley. But Coutinho whips in the corner. Daniel Agger goes up with a header. And it's pretty a pretty unrealistic but realistic in FIFA terms header it's one that you would expect to see in the game a lot of power created from uh, not too much of a, a realistic angle from the from the defender you'll see from the second replay more so than the first it's actually leaning back away from the goal nice turn with his head to get the uh, the power on it but whether the uh, that amount of power would have been generated in real life with a, with a header of that sort I'm not entirely too sure but something that is extremely realistic is Luis Suarez scoring at least two goals in a game another fantastic free kick from him there he scored a great one against Hull at the weekend just gone for uh, for Liverpool and uh, he scored another one for us here if the wall had jumped perhaps they would have been able to get a, uh, a block on it but a fantastic technique from Luis Suarez he's got to be surely the odds on favourite for the Ballon d'Or next year if he's going to be able to keep, keep up the level of performance that he's been putting in all year and all season long for Liverpool so far in uh, in the 2013-14 season so uh, fingers crossed for uh, for Liverpool in fact that he can continue to do that for them but uh, obviously as a Chelsea fan I hope he doesn't but uh, anyway Robert Lewandowski is going to pull one back for him in the 90th minute in stoppage time but we're actually going to run out 3-2 winners in that first game so we're actually uh, promoted now that is confirming us promotion to Division 9 but of course in uh, in head to head as with Ultimate Team Divisions you do get the chance to win the title rather than just getting promoted and we're going to try and do that with the second suggestion which is Brighton coming in from Josh Bond now I don't want to just do it the the entire series constantly with uh, you know the big five star triple A grade uh, team. So we're going to have quote unquote lesser teams. Try not to be so disrespectful to the smaller teams in uh, in English and world football. But Brighton are a lesser team than uh, the likes of Liverpool. But we're actually coming up against their national side here in Scotland, and it's Robert Snodgrass that gets a great shot away there with his left foot. He's not got that much pace, but he's got enough to get away from the Brighton defenders. And it's on the half foul mark again. We find ourselves behind after being honest, dominating again at the opening period. But Cross goes on a nice one here. Nice uh, executed step over. And then a tidy finish into the bottom corner in first half stoppage time to put us back on level terms at 1-1 so we went in at half time at 1-1 again but as you can see more possession more chances and it was again a chance of hoping to uh, to just take those chances in the second half but I actually had to make a change on the hour I brought on Leroy Lita Kazenga Luwa Luwa and Kemi Augustine now Luwa Luwa is rapid he again is so fast just like Raheem Sterling for Liverpool so the plan was to race down the wings with him be a little bit sweaty and whip the ball in for Leroy Lita but uh, he made a mistake here it was actually on the other side that we were going to whip the ball in with Will Buckley and watch Lee Relita's movement drops towards the back post then makes a darting run towards the near post to beat the, the uh, defender didn't see him coming on his blind side over his left shoulder and races away to get the uh, decent header there in at the near post and the goalkeeper unfortunately for him wasn't able to cope with it he did actually get a hand to it you'll be able to see from the second replay a little bit better than this first one he's actually going to get his fingertips to it but can't quite push it over the bar and uh, from the slow-mo just there gets contact on it but not enough and we are going to get 
a 2-1 lead. And then in first half, second half rather, stoppage time, we uh, he gets to the, uh, the initial corner clear and uh, a bit of a bit of physics engine failure there. But we are going to get the ball into the box. Andrews plays the ball into Will Buckley. He's going to get a turn on the defender. Buckley had a very, very good game for me, in fact. And uh, gets the ball off the inside of the post to round the game up at 3-1. And rather than waiting till he got kick off to pause it and rage quit, he just turned his cons uh, console off straight away. So uh, we are able to take a 3-1 win. Dominant display again in the second half, as you can see. Plenty Plenty more chances, plenty more possession, and we are in fact going to confirm that we get the Division 10 title. 12 points from the opening six games, although to be fair, one of those games was played before the start of the series. So it's four wins from five games from uh, from this series so far, and a Division 10 title to boot. And then we come up against, or with rather, Ajax for the first game in Division 9, suggested by Eustace Simpson and Quad Z. It's actually Quad, uh, it's quad Z E H, so I guess it's Quad Z as opposed to Quad Z. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're playing up against Atletico Mineiro. Now you would presume this team is basically built around Ronaldinho and then Joe up top. The dribbling skills of Ronnie and then uh, the aerial ability of Joe. But we almost got off to an absolute flyer here. The ball played over to Victor Fisher. He's going to turn inside, let loose with a wonderful strike. It's actually going to come back off the bar. Really unfortunate not to get ourselves into an early lead there, which would have kind of bucked the trend as uh, the first games or first two games we, uh, we actually went 1-0 down around about a half hour. But we were going to go 1-0 down in this one. Pierre's going to do the work right-hand side. Loft the ball in. Joe gets ridiculous amount of power behind that header kind of similar to the Daniel Lager goal pretty unrealistic with the amount of header amount of power behind the header but uh, something you might expect to see on FIFA and uh, it went for us against with Liverpool against Dortmund and he went against us here and unfortunately the luck was against us in the, in this game to start off with at least 20 minutes in we hit the woodwork for a second time blind hits the uh, post with a lovely left footed shot and then Bojan's going to draw a good save out of the goalkeeper this time getting it on target but the goalkeeper's on hand to keep us out and Bojan's actually going to take the resulting corner going to stand it up towards the near post looking for see Pawson to get the similar sort of effort that uh, Leroy Lita did in the previous game he does get that sort of header but this time the goalkeeper gets enough on it to palm it over the bar and uh, keep us at bay but we are going to get ourselves back on level terms before half time yet again defensive mistake there and uh, Sig Pawson is just going to rifle that into the bottom corner so for the third game in a row we're going in at half time with a scoreline sitting at 1-1 but uh, if the first two games were dominant displays from us in the first half this was just unbelievable you won't believe the stats that are going to pop up on your screen. We have 10 shots, 7 on target, 61% possession, 1 goal. And from his only shot of the half, he's going to keep himself in the game at 1-1 with 39 possession and 1 shot. So uh, we started the second half in the same vein that we uh, we ended the first. Bojan with a nice turn there. Gets a decent shot away and the goalkeeper again comes up, trumps with the save. But he's actually going to get himself 2-1 up here on the hour mark. Joe's going to come down the outside and he's actually going to be play a nice one to with Fernandinho. For some reason, the defender decides to just stumble towards the ball rather than try and head it clear. His striker has the time and space to chest it down and then side foot it into the back of the net and we actually find ourselves 2-1 down. And then Ronaldinho goes on a run of love, uh, not taking too much away from it, although my players just appeared to bounce off him rather than actually put a tackle in, which was pretty frustrating, to be completely honest. And uh, he actually puts him 3-1 up in the 73rd minute. And this kind of final phase of play is just going to sum up what my luck was like in this game. So Paulson with a shot, decent save. We're going to stand it up. We do get there to get the ball back in. Clears it, but we're going to come back in with blinds. Going to play the ball in towards the edge of the box after uh, going on a, a decent run actually holds the ball off well nice ball down into the channel to Sig, to Sig Pawson gets the ball in it's knocked on Victor Fisher at the back post well saved open goal Sig Pawson surely no drives it wide and the final whistle goes and if you didn't believe the first half stats you won't believe the second half stats just look three shots three goals for him 17 shots 11 on target for me and we only draw... No, we not even draw. We only get one goal. What am I even talking about? 11 shots on target, one goal. You cannot even begin to imagine how angry I was after losing that game. The first one in Division 9. But we're going to have to just take it on the chin and move forwards and come back bigger and stronger next time with teams that you suggest so feel free to leave suggestions down in the comment section down below for teams you might like me to use for episode number three if you missed the previous episode in episode number one i'll leave a link on screen over that uh, that little bit there that says previous episode and of course if you aren't subscribed to the channel already feel free to do so there will be an annotation on screen over that side on the right hand side and the link in the description to do so and of course if you don't follow me on twitter already feel free to do that as well link in the description and the twitter handle is at chesnoid game 
gaming so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you in the next episode i don't know what that outro was goodbye